Well, there is a lot of dirty dining to dish around this week. Uh, 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears now takes us grocery shopping, out for sushi, and even some dessert. Blood spatter is the kind of thing you should only find at a crime scene, but in this week's dirty dining, health inspectors found more than that. They found a giant pool of blood on the floor of a walk-in cooler. That cooler is at Island Pacific Seafood Market on Silverado Ranch in Bermuda. The market's meat and seafood department got a 38 demerit C grade on its October 27th inspection, three more demerits, and it would have been shut down. What happened? Why the big pool of blood on the reaching cooler floor? Uh, I did not see the picture uh, myself. And manager Nathan Jimenez says it's something inspectors won't see again as long as he's in charge. That shouldn't have happened. When you came back and you saw that it did happen, what was your reaction and, and what did you say to the employees? Of course, we can only do so much. Uh, our employees work very hard. So I just, you know, I, uh, I just gave them a quick reminder of pep talk. One of the most important reminders was proper hand washing. Inspectors noted a repeat violation by multiple food handlers who failed to wash hands when swapping gloves and changing tasks. Inspectors also say the floor sink near the walk-in freezer was overflowing wastewater onto the floor. The condenser in the freezer was leaking directly onto multiple boxes of uncovered meat and fish, and open bags of food were stored on the freezer floor. So was it surprising to you that they found so much to write up? Because obviously a C-grade is, is a challenge to do business under. Uh, to be quite honest, yes, I was very surprised when I saw the inspection report. There were things that were very avoidable. But uh, there's also uh, things that uh, came up as a surprise, which I mentioned was already corrected, and that's not part of our standard practices. Island Pacific's meat and seafood department has never gotten a C grade before. Jimenez says their issues were a combination of being really busy and employee oversight, like when someone cleaning a bandsaw with a hose sprayed water onto uncovered raw tuna that had been left on the sink. What gets cut with a bandsaw back there? Uh, so the bandsaw gets, uh, it's any, it's pretty much any meat that has a bone that cannot be cut with uh, just a standard knife. Other violations included pink and black mold in the ice machine and significant dried black food residue on the meat grinder that was in use. Meat packaging trays were splattered from food processing and fish was thawing improperly at an unsafe temperature. That was an unfortunate incident. It'll never happen again. Island Pacific's meat and seafood department got its A grade back with zero demerits on November 9th. Our imminent health hazard closures begin at Soho. The Japanese restaurant on Jones and Warm Springs was shut down October 27th for a multi-generational cockroach infestation. Inspectors found live German roaches under sinks, under the dishwashing machine, and under the sushi prep table. Conditions inviting to pests included excessive food debris on the floor and holes in walls and around pipes. Inspectors saw roaches coming out of a hole in the wall next to the sushi prep table. Soho's manager says they got everything resolved the next day and that this was an anomaly for a restaurant with nothing but A grades for the past seven years. Soho reopened October 28th with a six demerit A grade. And for dessert, an imminent health hazard at its sugar at the Grand Bazaar shops on the Strip. The sweet shop was shut down October 27th for no hot water. The person in charge told inspectors the water heater broke the week before, but corporate had not yet approved a replacement. The health district forced its sugar to close, and all candy packaged while the water heater was broken had to be thrown out. That same It's Sugar location on Las Vegas Boulevard was on Dirty Dining this summer when it was shut down for a rodent infestation. It recovered from that and this latest issue, reopening October 28th with an eight demerit A grade. We've got one more imminent health hazard, a sewage backup at Antojitos DC on Penwood and Valley View. Details on that and a statement from the owner on our website at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.